Okay. Well, well got it. We got it. Okay. Hopefully. <clears throat> I think we're good, Elizabeth. Okay. Hi, everyone. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal, is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting parents whose children have passed. Through support and resources offered, we aspire to help individuals become shining light parents, meaning a shift from a state of emotional heaviness to one of hopefulness and greater peace of mind. HPH goes a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and afterlife evidence in a non-dogmatic way. HPH affiliate groups welcome everyone regardless of religious or non-religious background and encourage open dialogue. Attendance at this meeting is voluntary. We hope that participants will learn from and share with each other. Discussions here are confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Zoom meetings run by leadership are not confidential. These meetings typically feature guest presenters and are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members worldwide can watch and benefit. Neither type of HPH meeting is designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers, allowing parents to learn about many possible ways to heal. This includes presenters covering progressive topics such as afterlife evidence and connecting with children who have passed. The views expressed by our guest speakers may or may not reflect the opinions of Helping Parents Heal leaders and members, so we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Okay. I was just writing that I'm really grateful that everyone's joined us. I also noticed that Diane Own had an AI um, assistant uh, start the recording for her. So, Diane, if you are the only person that gets this recording, please make sure it gets to me. And also, um, let's not do that in the future. <laughs> let's try not to use AI in the future, okay? But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just so grateful to have Beth here. Um, I'm going to read her very short bio so that you all know a little bit about her. Beth Lynch, media meditation teacher and author, has been helping families understand and heal from the passing of loved ones, as well as sharing spiritual principles for life. For over 25 years, she has practiced and taught the benefits of meditation and how to understand the mind, body, spirit connection as a natural evolution of consciousness. Beth is founder of Inner Light Teachings. Beth shares that spirituality is the missing link to understanding mental and emotional wellness, including anxiety, depression, and addiction. For over two decades, she has shared what she has learned personally and in cha channeling. Beth believes that to understand life, we must understand death. It is in so doing that the in-between will make sense and we love, laugh, and live more fully. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put her uh, website in the chat box and I'm just thrilled to be able to be here with all of you and with Beth Lynch as well as Lisa. So please join me in welcoming beautiful Beth Lynch. Welcome, Beth. Hi, everyone. Thank you um, for having me back again. It's great to be here. Um, I'd like to share a little bit about how I communicate with spirit. And um, <clears> then <throat> I'll just start doing that, okay? Um, basically, I begin with a little blessing, and during that blessing, I'm going to start receiving a lot of visions, feelings. It's been a scent day like crazy, um, so some, in my own private sessions, um, so scents, knowings, and I will start putting all that out there. These are going to be, and as you know, we have a lot of people on the call, but if something moves your heart, um, just please, you know, you know what to do, raise your hand or whatever, you know, however, um, because these are your kids saying, show her that, show them so they'll know it's me. Um, when you hear names, it will be spirit world first. Sometimes it is a living sibling, um, you know, so be aware of that. I've noticed the kids do that a lot when I'm channeling, they bring in the name of their living, living sibling. Um, the other thing is thinking something as I'm going along um, that you wish for them to mention. 
You really should do that. You make, you help them, you know, especially when you get in, in calls of this size. But even in my privates, I say that. Think of something that you wish for the month. Not, don't think 10 things. Think one thing, you know, or two. Um, and just mention this or show her that. And at any time during this, you can do that. And um, because that they're going to show you, they hear you directly because that's what we're here for. Do they hear us? Are they with us? Are they OK? All the things that, you know, run through our minds. Um, I do know, and I'm sure Elizabeth will vouch for this, that sometimes I get little peaks of like uh, a, one of the kids show the grandparent that's with them or something or, you know, an aunt or an uncle or something, another family member. And they don't hold there like in a private where they would to bring them in because they respect what the per reason is of this call that for everyone has children there and everyone would hope, you know, to be making a connection. So, um, so yeah, just, you know, they hear you, they want to show you, they hear you, uh, you feeling them is so important. And, you know, I can tell you that everyone's child is there even, and I'm very grateful that many of you reach out and I do private sessions um, as well. After I do these calls, I seem to get a little wave of people making sessions and I'm very grateful for that. But um, also that those kids gather and support each other beyond what I, you know, even the words I could use. I see it in, in a lot of the private sessions. Look, we're all here, you know, show me something. So, or they even name a few names and then that person is aware of no is you know maybe friend befriended one of you or something and it, there's always a connection a little bit more than we know so and I know in the moment so I'll just you know I'll go into the blessing I will uh I've already started to get some vision so I'll do a quick little blessing and then um, I'll just start putting it out there okay so just join me in this this helps you too um and it raises the frequency um and helps helps them you know be loud and clear so um Okay, so what we're going to do is just close your eyes if you can safely. And if you can't, just find a place to gaze at and bring your awareness into your breath. You're just breathing slowly. Exhale like you're blowing out a candle and being careful. That exhale is very powerful. Use it anytime. Candle breath. Exhale like you're blowing out a candle and being careful. Slows down your nervous system. Calms your body. Slows your mind. As you breathe and become one with your breath, you become one with your light deep within your heart. This light you may see, feel, or know you are one with. We allow this light to illuminate your hearts, and all around you, creating sacred space to be one with those of spirit. We are grateful for their presence. So just hold in this light for a moment. You can think something at this time that you wish for them to mention. You can think it at any time. If you prefer to slow down a little bit and relax, just thinking I as you inhale, am as you exhale. I get a few things to start with. Um, one of the first things I keep hearing is the name Michael. So I don't know if there's going to be a few of those, but I did hear Michael. There were also a couple of visions that I was getting um, as I was in there. Um, and I just kind of want to go uh, to those visions. I might be a little all over the place at first. So feel free to, you know, jump in if you hear something that really resonates. I, I really was feeling maybe a young man um, who fell to his passing. Um, I did feel more of a backwards feeling. And sometimes if there's more than one person that crossed in a similar way, they give me those details to help make it more. No, it will be this one. Okay. So um, we got a few Michaels. So I don't know if one of those Michaels fell. Um, another vision I got, and I know, I don't think it's connected. It's another way of passing. It definitely felt like a drowning. Um, I did see that very clearly. I know I was in the water. Um, and this as well felt male to me. Okay. Um, my son fell. 
Okay, we got a couple of them. So let me see if they can give me something else. Um, well, so we need Rita with the drowning um, because we do have a couple that did fall back. Uh, okay, it fell, but the drowning one, maybe we can let her on. Okay. Um, um, did oh. you want to, to, her to identify with Michael as well? I don't know if Rita. Uh, no, just the drowning because right now it's streaming so okay. fast. I, he, he may not be Michael, but the drowning is very strong. Okay. So we're going to yeah. go to Rita. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's see. Yeah, the, there are a few Michaels in that group, obviously. So they will send something probably to make themselves a little more. This is me, you know, and they're probably all there. So know that. Um, but. Oh, um, Rita, mm -hmm. I asked you to unmute. Yeah, um, a couple of drownings. Um, can you say hi? Hi, Rita. Um, I, read, I felt like I was coming to you for some reason. I didn't know when, but I just, for some reason, when I looked at you, I thought, I think her child's going to come through. Um, I don't know the circumstances of it, but um, I do want to say real quick, he's showing me a grandmother with him. And I don't know if that's your mom or your grandmother, but he makes me want to say that real quick. All right. My and, um, I love you, mom. I love you. And I'm okay. I'm okay, mom. I'm okay. And he, the, the hands are shaking, but not in a fearful way. It's just like, mom, it's okay. And I think he knows you. You're a little nervous sometimes, he says. He needs you not to be so nervous because you do feel him and he is there. And then he says, tell her the pillow. And I don't know if you have his pillow or, you know, you got one on your lap right now, but I mean, say the pillow, say the pillow. He wants me to say that to you. All right. And he's like, God, I'm so glad I got in mom. I got in, I got in. Okay. Um, and he wants to show me chocolate chip cookies. So I don't know if you made him earlier or if it was his favorite, but he is showing I bought that. him yesterday. First time. Okay. So yeah. Thank you. Your son's amazing. And the thing is, those are simple things that sometimes even in my privates, I'll go, well, why would they show that? I'm like, well, you can ask them when you get there, but I can tell you, they're trying to show you they're with you in a certain moment. And if buying cookies is that moment, you're going to hear it. All right. And um, what's up with the bathroom mirror? Did you have a moment of see, thinking you saw him or something? Not that I know of. There's a mirror and then a moving away from the mirror. I, I'm not sure what he's trying to say. Hmm. You not like mirrors or not look good? I'm not thrilled with them, but nothing. Yeah, I feel me. like it's it's like he's trying to make a, like something he knows. Like, you know, it's almost like if you look in the mirror and then you don't want to look in the mirror. You know what I mean? And um, he said, there's nothing wrong with you, mom. There's nothing wrong. Okay. You're grieving. You miss him. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I know. And he tells me to say it like this. It sucks. I know. But I mm -hmm. need you to know I'm safe and I'm okay. And um, is there something about the rose, the red rose? We were looking at roses just the other day in a garden. Okay. So yeah. that's a moment that he was making sure, you know, he was standing there. Okay. He's standing there. Um, and I don't know. I feel like he's trying to bring me into the water some way, but I don't know why. Was he doing an activity or something or? He was walking on ice. Uh, okay. Yeah. That explains why I don't feel. Yeah. It was a weird feeling of the water. Like, I think that's probably why it wasn't like he was on a boat or you know he fell, through, he fell through the ice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um is there a j connection to his name or yep him and his brother okay all right because a big j came in front um what is the name can you tell me because i don't know about josh josh okay um is there a jamie connection or james so his brother's jeremy jeremy and josh all right. Is there a James though? Is that mean something else about somebody else or Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it was definitely his J I know because it was so strong and he makes me feel there's a dog there with him. And it, I don't know what kind it is, but boy, he's just, I got him. I got him. Maybe from another life. I don't know. But... No, it wouldn't be that. Do you have a dog living? No, no dogs at all. All right. I want you he really holds a dog. It's another uh, pet, but it's not a dog. What is it then? Bird. We have a bird. It's his bird. Oh, we no. This animal's in spirit. Right. Okay. No. Yeah, that, for sure. And the, there's a pointier nose. And I know sometimes I've seen it be 
like another family member's dog or a good friend of theirs dog. So just keep that one with you then. Okay. I don't know if I want to say it's German shepherd, but boy, I can feel that nose. You know, okay. there's something about, is there any shepherd that was ever in your life? Even as a, I'm very allergic to dogs. So it's just oh. not. <laughs> so <there's no> <laughs> heaven, so you won't be allergic to it there. All right. Yeah. You can take that with you, but definitely I can see this German shepherd. I, I definitely do think it's a German shepherd now. Yeah. You know, and maybe, you know, ask his brother because sometimes there's a connection that you're not aware of. And I don't sure. know why I feel like I got to say, ask his brother. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank so, you, Rita. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank um, you so much. That was, that was wonderful. Um, let me quickly take off the spotlight. And then we have a lot of biggie baggy going on. There's lots of parents who have had their children pass by drowning, which is interesting. Yeah, wow. Uh, so I don't know if um, some of the other ones um, are possibly the ones who are identifying with some. Yeah, and, and I know, and we always have to go through this, that sometimes there's more than one message in a thing, as I know I was with her son, um, but there's... Um, there was somebody I just saw. Well, let me go. Oh, the one I'm laying on his pillow. For some reason, I feel like I have to go to Yelena. Elena? I, I feel her son's tapping on me right now. Like I do. I felt that right now. I feel it. Yeah. Mom, it's me. Mom, it's me. Yeah. yeah. Mom, it's me. Um, It's the fall. The one that fell. Yeah, he fell. So, um, so yes, yes. Elena, if she can. Hi. Oh, let me I'm head here. And let me get out of the view that I got because I don't like seeing. I like gallery view better. Thanks. Um, where are you, Elena? Here. Yeah. Do you see her? I don't see her. Oh, well, maybe I have to go to gallery view. Wait, you have to go to the different view. Speaker view. view. Yeah, the speaker one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I have to stay there. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm good. All thank right, you. So yours, um, he fell. Okay. And you got the pillow. Okay. That's, I wanted to go to you. Um, there is a very strong handhold that he wants to give you like this, like he wants to go hand to hand. Okay. So he, and I don't know if you do that or touch his pitch, but he's doing that. Okay. First I actually was going to go like that. And then I felt like he stopped me and went like that. Okay. Like hand to hand, palm to palm. Um, and I don't know if there's a Jersey you have of his, but he's holding up a shirt. It just feels kind of like if, if I look at something more athletic or something or yeah. jersey. I have his hockey jersey. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. My, and we're from New Jersey also. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes they, they do say something to get me to say something. <laughs> they do that with Jack Daniels once. They showed me the Jack Daniels bottle and I go, oh, he's showing me. It was his name. <laughs> so I was like, wow, he's clever. Um, but yeah, I think there's two things in one there. Okay, because he is saying Jersey, Jersey. So you have it and then you're from Jersey. So thank you. Um, he's, you know, puts his hands on like his like thighs if he was to sit down next to you or something. And he puts his hand on, head on your shoulders. Okay, he wants to do that. And um, I love you, mom. And it's like you, you take it. Now, sometimes that's actually a picture you might have or something. I just feel he's holding that vision a little longer than just show her this and then moving like they sometimes do he's holding it so i didn't like i said i don't know if you have a picture of that um, i do okay thank you yeah um because he's really putting a lot of energy to showing you um this i don't know why he's got me in the torso i don't know if he dealt with something in that area i i just know i feel like in the middle he had an allergies um, uh, all over his torso right be before he passed. Okay, that's why. Yeah, it was almost like just going like this only on my torso. He made me feel, go there, go there. All right. Um, did he, did his throat close? Did he have trouble breathing? Um, no, it was fast. He fell and it was fast. He fell, yeah. I, I might be getting another person with this because this feels like a different kind of passing right now. Um, it just doesn't feel like with him, but sometimes they overlap a little, give him, but he's not done yet. Um, he's, I don't know what he's saying about his sneakers. I don't, I don't, I say my sneakers. I don't know if you have his sneakers or there's something. I have his sneak, his favorite sneakers and oh. 
his cousin, my niece, bought exactly the same sneakers, and we were just discussing that the other day. She didn't know she bought okay. the same. All right. So what I would say is it's not just, it's also you have them, but also the acknowledgement to that conversation. Okay. Absolutely. Um, yeah. yeah, because that's important. He wants to put a kiss on your cheek and tell you, you know, I'm okay. I know I don't have to tell you that. I'm okay. And he goes, don't think the worst because it wasn't like that. He's, you know, you, you, it's almost like his spirit left so fast. It's, I don't even know. He just makes me think it, it was so fast. Mom, my spirit left so fast. It was like, he's got a good sense of humor. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. kind of funny about something that might not seem funny, but it's almost like when your spirit leaves your body and the body's still going through its physical motion down here. And then he was like already standing in heaven, like, whoa, where am I? You know what I mean? Like he jumped in, you know, he, like I, exactly was his intonation. He would say, whoa, <laughs> yeah, thank exactly. you it was like whoa that's why i'm here where am i you know he knew where he was but he didn't like know where he was and is there a, a gentleman named pops pops it was called pops or poppy like in that um, even if he didn't know him like sometimes it's more connected to you or it may be his dad but that nickname is coming right now is there okay, anyone the, called that living yeah. Yes, Pop, and and that was his friend. He he was killed on the motorcycle two years there's, ago. There's the motorcycle. Okay, I was gonna ask you if your son had a motorcycle. All right, so his friend Poppy or something is over there as well. That's the motorcycle I'm seeing. Yeah, so they're together. Um, he says we'll stay out of trouble. We promise. <laughs> In these land, we'll stay out of trouble. Don't worry. All right. Um, is there a Nicholas? Nicholas, it's his uh, cousin. He lives in Canada. Okay, so he's acknowledging him. I don't know if they were close or. Um, Nick, they were they, they had a big age difference, but, um, actually, Nicholas's older brother was very close to my son. Mm -hmm. And they're both living, right? Yes, and it's amazing because you brought Nicholas in other gallery reading last year. You brought, Ooh, I did? yes, you did. You oh, brought, it's amazing. You brought Nicholas and then his older brother Thomas. You mentioned them because they were very, very close to Igor. Like, oh, wow. okay. Well, he remembers that's probably why he brought it back. He said, Oh, I'm gonna make sure she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Well, I'm glad I could bring him in and I know you know he's okay. Thank I you. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Thank you so much, Beth. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you. Yeah. Yelena and um <clears throat> ooh, that was interesting. Um, okay, let's see who who's gonna pop next. Is there someone who lost someone in a this vision has been popping a lot. Um, in like either canoe kind of passing, like a canoe or kayak, something like that, or is this boys night here, or is that, it's all, it seems like all boys, um, or someone who either that was something they did, you know. So Kira's uh, saying that her son fell off a boat, so that's not a kayak or a canoe. No, but, but that's actually something I did see too. I, I felt like I had three draw drownings there. Um, okay, so Kathy, we kayak together a lot. Okay, let's bring Kathy on. Kathy, okay. Because I, yeah, kayaked together. Oh, go ahead. Because I am definitely seeing the kayak right now and a, a young man wanting me to say it, so. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that we don't have. I know she said. We have okay. two oh. Kathy's here. No, I was worried oh. about that. So um, let's see, how are we going to do this? It's the Kathy that is um, green. I think that maybe the K will be, oh, they're both. No, they're both green. That's very hard. We kayaked a lot? That There's two kayakers? No, no, no. It's just that oh. the name Kathy. Okay. Um, can one of you just read Wave your, your hand in front of your face. The Kathy yeah. that's talking. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tonight is an unusual night. It okay. is, and I keep changing. Okay, 
So I've asked you to unmute, Kathy. There we are. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add a spotlight. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi. Um, so let me, I'm just having the craziest time with my view. I want to be able to see you. All right, there you are. Now I see you. Okay. So you guys used to kayak together, right? Because mm -hmm. I felt like the young man wanted to say, you got to show the kayaking. And he's definitely in the kayak. And um, I know it's your son. So just give him a moment. Um, is there anything about like the Oregon or Washington or something with you guys? Even if it has nothing to do with kayaking, don't worry. I mean, like somebody lived there or a visit or a trip. Um, yeah, my uncle, Mike, he truck drives to Washington from Florida. Uh, definitely, because the, another thing that was coming was I was going to say there's a truck thing going on here. All right. Was he close to him or just, uh, okay, yeah. yeah, it doesn't mean he wouldn't acknowledge him, but usually if they acknowledge somebody, there's a reason, or you just talked to him, you know, a couple of days ago or something. All right. And he's like, I love you guys. I love you guys. And I'm okay. I'm okay. And I don't know why he's got me in his head, but I just feel like I'm a little confused up here. Like something, is some, was something going on up here? Um, I don't know what that feeling is he's giving me. I don't know if it's got to do with his passing or just he was going through something confusing and he's just making me feel that confusion. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or sometimes I feel tingles. <laughs> oh, well, I like that's a better thing for me to feel. Okay. All right. So maybe we'll, we're going to give him that one. All right. Give you that one. He wants to add to the other. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, that's how I felt. And I, I didn't really know, understand what he was trying to say. So if you're feeling that you should look at that as a sign, you know, of something that you're feeling his energy field, really, that's what it is. When the spirit's close, you're, you're picking up on his frequency. So everybody gets different feelings, warm, cold, tingly. Um, some people even get anxious when they feel the energy of a spirit around because it is emotional to feel it. So those are all very natural things. Even if it's not something you feel for, for others listening, it can help them. Um, and um, is somebody getting married that he'd want to watch over? Um, not that I know of. <laughs> <laughs> No wedding coming up or nothing's going on and nothing with him then right that was no not that i can think of no um there was just an anniversary for his best friend um that there. he's the best man in there it is there's the wedding thing that's that so it was he was the best man and his friend's anniversary just came up is that what you're saying okay i would definitely say that that was what he was getting me to because i was like he's saying like wedding and cheating, you know, cheating and, you know, like say it, say it, you know? And, um, he's really like, mom, I'm okay. I'm okay. You're going to be okay. All right. And you don't feel like it sometimes. And he doesn't want you to think that way because you are, you're the strongest woman I know. <laughs> All right. Why math? Is there something about math? Hmm. Math yeah. class, math, good at math, bad at math. I don't know. His little brother's good at math. <laughs> yeah. He's acknowledging his little brother. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, did he deal with the breathing thing? I'm back to this. Somebody's really got me with breathing. Um, his grandfather. So, I tell so he was a heavy smoker. He smoked. He was. He was. Oh, my son. your son was? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what he's getting. I think I'm going to get, I'll give him a moment to, you know. All right. What he's doing right now is saying, say the rainbow. So say the rainbow. So I don't know when you saw one last or you, you what, let it be a sign for you, but he is saying that. I feel like maybe the smoking thing was his. And then when it was kind of wobbly, he was like, just say that, say that. And he's like showing the ring. <laughs> All right. So he's like, you know, he's not letting you say no, even if, you know, because <laughs> if you don't know, you don't know. You can't say yes, you know. Right. And uh, what were you doing with dishes? Do you have somebody's dishes at Cross? Are you peeking in on the... It's like when, when you hold a stack of dishes. I was just putting them away <laughs> before this. 
<laughs> we got to be careful what we do before we get on a call, don't we? <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah, you were putting the dishes away. All right. Yeah. Okay. So again, one of those things that shows I'm with you right then, you know, and sometimes we're not sitting there thinking we're putting dishes away that our loved ones are watching over, you know, but they are. And is there something about, I felt like I heard the word dad and then I felt something about plumbing. So I don't know if somebody was doing something with plumbing or if that's two different thoughts, you know. <clears throat> uh, we just had someone at, here at the house. <laughs> In plumbing? Yes. <laughs> Clearly he's hanging out, right? Um, all right. And is his dad at that house too? Or because I know sometimes. Grandpa. Okay. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, so he's, he saw the plumbing thing. Um, he just wants everybody to get a hug. Giving you a hug. Are you his, who are you to him? Mom, sister. Sister, I thought so. Well, I didn't want to, because sometimes it could be a cousin or something, but I knew you were something because he wanted to give you that hug too. All right. You know, I'm your guardian angel, right? And he said like this, I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the short temper? I don't know if you have people. <laughs> but, um, well, didn't he have it too? Mm. Mm. He could a little bit here and there. No, yeah, then I think it's more he's watching over it. All right. It's just, how long ago did he pass? Three months. Yeah. Because he's saying it's part of it. It's part of it. It's okay. Just be patient with each other. Okay? Yeah. Just look at each other and say it's okay. He goes like, he's being a referee right now. And he laughed when he called himself a referee. But when I actually said it, he really thought that was funny. Like, he's <laughs> a referee. So sometimes in those moments, you just look at each other and go, it's okay. And just, it, it'll just kind of stop it, you know? Because you've got to have your feelings, but he know he sees the tempers. All right. And it's, um, he says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, um, and he's showing me a steering wheel now. Is there anything about a vehicle? Does he have his vehicle? I don't know. Yes, a truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on the steering wheel or something about the steering? He did point out that. Um. Is it a big truck or? Yeah. Okay. yeah truck yeah he makes me even think the steering wheel's big i don't know <laughs> steering wheel sizes but you know it's almost like that if somebody drive it and it's like really big for them to drive i think that's the feeling he's giving me yes okay yeah, yeah. it's almost like if something's big it's like oh this is so big you know it's, yeah it's big for us <laughs> yeah. yes yeah he wants to give you a hug mom i'm sorry I don't know why he's apologizing, but he feels he needs to. He has a tattoo that says, sorry, mom. <laughs> I wonder why he was really like pushing that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, like sometimes they're almost like stubborn. They're like, they really want us to know what it means. And obviously I'm not going to know what it means, but, um, but I'm surprised he didn't say tattoo afterwards, but yeah, that's, you got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Thank you. A kiss there and giving you a kiss too. And he sees his little brother. How old is his little brother? 12. Just got to tell him I'm his angel. You got to keep telling him that. All right. Yeah. He misses him terrible. And he's so sorry he confused him. He confused himself sometimes. He's so sorry. And he can't stop saying that. <laughs> oh. Thank you for letting me come to you. Thank you so much. And he showed me a Christmas tree. Okay. Have you been talking about it? We're going to decorate. <laughs> he said you better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he goes, he'll see what he can do about the lights. Okay. Great. I think he's going to have fun with it. <laughs> He does right. that. <laughs> yeah. He's doing it now? Sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there something about apples? I feel like he showed me an apple twice. 
You think it happened? You mean? Oh, it's lagging a little. Wait, are we? Are yeah, we I think you froze. Is there any oh. apples in the kitchen or anything with the apples? Unless I'm moving. Um, we have some apples actually here. Yeah, in our bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the bedroom. All right. Well, I shouldn't have said the kitchen, but he obviously knows those apples are in the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> Another way that they show they're right there with you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you for letting me come to you. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. That was wonderful. Thank you, Kathy and your daughter. And thank you, Beth. And um, I just want to remind everyone to please send me validation stories if possible. Um, so that I can add them to the newsletter. And my email is elizabeth at helpingparentsheal.org. So if you could do that, that'd be wonderful. And so I'll stop talking, Beth. <laughs> no, not our Elizabeth. You can talk all you want. So I am seeing um, a jet ski. And did anyone lose anyone connected to jet skiing? It's amazing all the water stuff I'm getting. Yeah. And also there was, I don't know if I'm hearing Gabrielle, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. I'm, oh, I hear Gabby, Gabby. Um, but I did hear a jet ski. Hope, that's me. So we got a hope. So what's you hope is that for the jet ski, jet ski or, or Gabby? Gabby. Gabby. Gabby, Gabby? My daughter Gabby and she was on a jet ski. So that oh sounds my like gosh, a this is who we're talking about then. Exciting. Oh my oh. god, it's you. I know you. What's the jet ski? That sneaky little girl. Oh, so hope can you unmute? It. Or, uh, okay, we're asking you to unmute. Can you unmute? I know hope. Hi, um, Keith. So, yeah. well, I, 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 well, I couldn't see that you were on the call, obviously, because <laughs> there's so many on the call. But then, you know, when I heard Gabby, Gabby, when I saw the jet ski, and then I started hearing that, I didn't know if it was two different things. But well, oh we were just looking at memories that came up today of her and her sisters on, they were on a jet ski when they were in Tennessee, and that just came up in the memories, and we were looking at all the memories, and oh. so... So as soon as you said jet ski, I knew it was her. Oh my God. And it was funny the way she was saying Gabby, Gabby. And I don't yeah. know if you guys used to like use her name like that. But right now she's going, it's me. Yeah. She's so happy. And everybody in the audience up there is clapping because oh. you know, I don't know. They're excited for her. Um, she doesn't want, she says, I don't want to take up too much time on me, but I love you. And you're helping so many people. You're helping so many people. So you're helping people, Hope, whether you know it or not. Oh. <laughs> she said, tell them I was what, looking at the pictures with them. Tell them I was Oh, my them. God. Oh, I yeah, knew that, it. I knew it. Yeah. And what's up with chocolate cake? I was just talking about oh. baking a chocolate cake today. <laughs> well, you better get on it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always say spirit wants to always show us these moments that they're with us but they also know what rooms not to enter so don't worry everybody i asked them that once <laughs> you see everything my god you know no we know when to turn our heads we were human too gabby said not me i'm in every room <laughs> oh my god and well anyway she's giving you another hug i love you mommy i love you so much Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> yeah. And did they do something in honor of her? What's this in honor of me? Oh, my God, in honor of me. And she went. <sighs> there is so many things that we do in honor of Gabby. <laughs> okay. So it's probably a reference to more than one. But was there something a little more public? With the, that was Shelby did? Um, yeah, well, I know that her friend is, a, she was a tattoo artist and, uh, some of her friends are, uh, for suicide awareness are going to be doing tattoos this weekend and donating to that. And I know there that it it was, she had a big part in that. That's what it is. That's because that's very public and yes. out there and for awareness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And, um, 
she just kind of tilts her head like I'm tilting my head and she says, the world can seem like a sad place, but if I have one thing I can say to everybody, and we, and she's going, we all feel this way. She's talking about all the kids. When you, you make us happy when you feel us and there is beauty there. And we're shining that light down for you guys because we love you. She's just like getting standing ovation again. Every she's just the speaker of the house up there right now. Oh, I mean, is just... that her personality? I guess. Kinda. It's she. She when when she felt uh, when she felt the reason to do it, she was she wasn't shy. <laughs> yeah, she definitely knows to stand up and speak. And just that, thank you all for letting. She's speaking on everybody's behalf almost like thank you for letting thank you for letting them continue to shine their light. And um, because your light shines up too. Theirs may shine down, but yours all shine up. Okay. Mm, thank you for letting me come. I needed that. Home. Thank you so much. You deserved it. Thank you. All right. You're <laughs> welcome. Nice to see you again. You too. Uh, so beautiful. Thank you, Hope. And thank you, Gabby. Thank you know you. what's so cool about that? Like, because obviously I've worked, I've I've read for Hope. And um, she saw me at the conference and stopped me. I didn't, you know, of course, felt bad and didn't recognize her until she like looked right at me. And um, but even when you know somebody, you know, they know what to bring to make it not like, oh, I know that, you know, Gabby's mom is here. You know what I mean? And I think that's really just a cool thing to see. Like, even if, you know, it's just really, I don't know if I want to say cool to see, but they know how to get in, even if people do know things about them, you know, so never, hold, never, I the jet ski. I mean, you know, it was like crazy. Cause you know, if I had seen your face, I might've, you know, made the connection more that way, but I didn't. And then the jet ski, I'm just, I'm excited that she was so sneaky, tricky and good about it. That's, I think exciting. So Joe's miss how good they are. Um anyone have somebody who played guitar? She didn't play guitar, did she? Electric guitar. I want to go with an electric guitar. And I mean they could rock. I don't know if I got a guy with long hair or a girl shaking her head, but musician. Okay, this could be. So we have both Rose and Ellen. Um, and so maybe we need a little bit more. Um, um, did either of them have a red guitar? We have lots of people here. There's something oh. about a red. Um, the only thing I would bend about that is maybe maroon, but. Okay, Rose is saying Nikki. So let's go to Rose. And actually, I was pretty sure that might happen. Just kind of was feeling like, so Rose, can you unmute, please? And Are I mean, you... he could really play um, this guitar pretty good. Okay, so Rose, let me see if I can find you by, I need to go into the gallery view to pin you. Can Where you, say, are you Rosie? Right here. Oh, we got Rosie. Yeah. Hi there. there she is. Hi. Hi. He could really rock that guitar, couldn't he? He um he played all the time. Um and singer songwriter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Composed the music and the lyrics and sang. So he was both. And he had a, a red guitar. I have a picture of him uh yeah. with his red guitar. Thank you. Yeah. So when he did that, that's sometimes how they help make, you know, it's me, this is me, this one, and you know, they're looking at the next mm -hmm. guy, you next, you get it in next, you know, so, but I do want to acknowledge that um, he, I didn't know what kind of music he liked, but man, there's something about Queen. I didn't know if that was his style or it's just maybe some of the, the connection to the, you know, the brilliance of Freddie Mercury and I don't know if Freddie played guitar, but they played piano. Well, the only thing that I would use for that is that I had used some of Queen's music when I would post something of Nick. Absolutely. Uh, I see a picture and it would easily describe him. 
the words, you know, it was very, um, well, you know, Queen's music. Yeah. So, um, but I, I really believe that the red guitar was to make it so noticeable because I, um, because he had many guitars. Mm -hmm. And that was one. And that's the um, one you, you, like you said, you have a picture of it. So yes, I do. I have a picture of a couple of them. And uh, I don't know if that one was electric, but either way, it's a very noticeable picture of him. Yeah. And also, um, he's saying, I love you, mom. I love you. And he puts his hand on your shoulder. Hmm. And I feel you, it. Yeah. His bump. yeah. And you get some aches and pains, too, because he says he wants yeah. you to, to heal. Believe you can oh, heal. Believe yes. you can Mm hmm. Yeah. I believe you can hear. Is there a Dorothy or Doris also in spirit? Or my no? cat right here. She just jumped up here. Oh, my oh. gosh. Dora. <laughs> that's his cat. Oh, All my right. God. So, yep. She just jumped up here as you said that. Yep. So he sees it. That's what he's saying it. He wow. sees it. He's right there with you. Well, you know, after rubbing your shoulder and you feeling it. There she There's is. our Doris. Hi. Oh, hello, Doris. Dory or Doris, whatever it is. Dora, and yes, that's his cat. He goes, yeah. Mom, how am I doing? And he, he wants to hug you. He wants to just give oh. you a hug. He's a, he's a big old sweetheart, baby. Yeah, I love you, Mom. I love you. Um, is there something about the song Imagine, John Lennon? <laughs> Just something funny about that. Um, <laughs> I have to say, there was another reading where a medium said that he was hanging out with John Lennon in the afterlife. Yeah, he was telling me he Elizabeth, met him. I met him. I met him. Elizabeth remembers that, I think. <laughs> Maybe. I met. He said, I've met the best of them. I've met the best of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he, and he's very much an old soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah because he likes a lot of the people I liked in, in the music industry, you know, the, the same. Is there something singer. about a safe deposit box? I, I'm just like um, getting a vision of standing in front of a safe deposit box. It might be. It may come to me later, you know? Yeah. Because um, I know sometimes I get like this where I don't remember in the moment because it's so overwhelmingly true that it that it shocks me and I don't remember yeah. it oh no well you've done good you've gotten everything, everything else so that's good um but I just feel like I'm standing in front of you know when they're like brass looking and there's so many of them and I just feel I'm standing there like I'm getting that visual so it might be symbolic of something mm -hmm. you Same. know like of all his poetry I found mm. yeah, um him. treasures you know yeah, he's, is there a jacket of his you still have? More like a coat? Yeah. He shows, he shows like he's looking at it, like, mm hmm that's a good Probably one. Probably, there's one hanging in his room, uh, a couple of them. Yeah, like, it's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. He's mm hmm He's and, right on it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he's holding your hand right now, just holding your hand. He wants to hold your hand. He's, I love you, mom. Sounds like him. Huh? It sounds exactly like him. I love you, and I'll be there when your day comes. Take your time. Have, yep, a, little be a, good day. <laughs> Have a little fun down there, mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nikki. <laughs> yeah. He, um, have you been to a theater or something recently, or did you go with him? He's got me. I open. went. Well, we went to the movies all the time together. That was our thing. Okay. But I recently went to a, a gathering of people where I read mine and his poetry just a couple of days ago. Okay. Where, was it at a theater? It, no, actually, it was in a um, somebody's. It was in a really nice setting at somebody's home. Um, it's used as a sort of maybe theater for people who want to gather and perform or read poetry. So it's not an actual theater. Gotcha. But it's, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. but people perform yeah. there. I kind of think because of the vision he actually showed me inside of a theater, I think. Oh, go ahead. He, it's that, you know, like an actual theater. Okay, yes. So about a month ago, I went to the movies for the first time by myself because it was really difficult for me to do it. It's been five years, but some things are still very hard. Yeah. No. And, I think, and so I went there and I felt so amazed because the last time I went was with him and we used to share a tub of popcorn, but here's what happened. So I'm taking a picture of the screen, the big screen. And then when I looked at the picture later, this is strange. So there was a picture of the screen and then legs. And I assumed it was my legs, right? And it was, but it wasn't. It looks more like his legs, sitting like the way he would sit. And I thought, you know, that's, I, I take it the way it is, you know, because I know. Mm -hmm. It really looked like the way he used to sit, mm -hmm. you know, like the way a man sits, you know, and it wasn't yeah. like the way I sit. So, yeah, the theater. Trust it. Oh. I think he's telling you that, yes, to know that. And I, I've had many, uh, I've had clients share with me, one in particular, her daughter passed tragically and her, her, the daughter's friend who was still close to the mom, you know, the friend's kind of still hang in there sometimes, um, took a selfie of herself mm -hmm. like this. And right here was the most perfectly clear vision of Nicole. Her name was Nicole in that photo. And it was like, like yeah. the mom sent it to me and goes, tell me what you think. And I went, what? Did she make <laughs> something and do like a Photoshop? She goes, no. And I'm like, and I mean, I even cried because I was like, oh, I mean, she's there in that selfie, like a photo bomb and, and everybody was freaked out. But, you know, those cameras can, and those things can pick up such frequencies. They're so sensitive that they can mm -hmm. pick up the frequency and the imagery. So you got a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I get many. And I was like saying, mom, you weren't alone. I was with you. I, I was shocked. Mm-hmm. Anybody would say, no, that's your legs. But the way I was sitting. Yeah. At the time, sitting. What are the odds, you know? I was, because he always sat right next to me. And then there it is. No, I'm sure I, that's why he's saying the theater. And when you said it was this other thing, maybe. And I'm like, no, no, mm -hmm. he's saying theater. He this wanted you to know. So, yeah. so he's letting me know. Yes, you're right. That was me. Yeah. Yes, mom, sitting right next to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's amazing that, that he's. Yeah, bring that up. It's beautiful. Glad to know. The spirit is something else. Well, thank you, Rose, for letting me come to you. Thank you for that. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Welcome. That was wonderful. Thanks, Rose, and got us oh, a validation story you. with the red guitar and a picture oh, of Dora and Nikki as well. Oh, so I know that Dora, the kid. Just when you said it. <laughs> anyway, that was beautiful. We have. Two more minutes, and maybe it'd be nice if you just tell everybody about how all of our kids are here. Maybe you could just let them know, um, because obviously they are here and they're helping each other to get through to do these readings. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's something, and whether, you know, here, actually what we're doing, all your kids are present. And, and sometimes even if I'm speaking to someone else and you, you kind of get that feeling and you really feel it's him, but you're not called on. You should really trust that that's your message. Because up there, I mean, I have watched them do it. Hey, yeah, me too, man. You know, and then they're friends afterwards, you know, if they hadn't been already. And um, I just got to say Sarah right now. I, I don't know if there's a Sarah in spirit or, but I do have to say that name because I'm hearing it very loudly. Um, but just to really trust and believe. And just like in some of the moments, even when I said hope with the with the chocolate chip, you know, you know, sometimes you're not sitting there with a hope, somebody with a chocolate chip cookie. Um, you know, sometimes you you just don't, you don't realize um, they're always there. You know, they're there in moments that sometimes surprise you. And I think that sometimes even, you know, apples in the kitchen. I mean, those are the things that they can say, I'm here with you. I'm here, you know. So believe and know, because it's the greatest gift you give them is to let them know that you really believe, even if it's sometimes it's not, you're not 100% believing it, just help, you know, just 
push yourself to say the words because the words have energy and the energy will start downloading into you. And then that's their frequency. And that's really what it comes down to when we're healing is connecting to the, the frequency of the spiritual world because, you know, they're able to be here, but it's still their frequency. You know, it, we're not going to change that. And we're just a lower frequency. So they're always with you. And I do, I can't thank you enough for always the trust you guys give me. It's just, I feel blessed. I am so glad that you were able to be here this evening and that everyone was. Thank you all for being on. And again, I just want you to know that your kids are so excited when you attend these because they are all together themselves. They're all friends. They're all having a blast. And it's so nice because I know that they help each other get these messages through. But as Beth said, there's lots of piggybacking. We always see that in the chat box. So they're getting messages through to more than one person at the same mm -hmm. time, which is wonderful. I did hear the name Vinny, so I threw that out on the chat. I uh, Vinny, Vince, I heard it. So <laughs> thank you all again. Thank you, Lisa, for helping. Thank you, Carol, for, for helping as well, because she was helping out as well during the meeting. And we missed you, Irene. I'm hoping the uh, recording will work. I just want to say that poor Diane had nothing to do with this. It was just an AI thing that popped up that happened off of her own, I guess, profile, which is so weird. It's the first time that this has ever happened. So we'll see what happens with the recording. Hopefully it'll be there for us, but you are all welcome to unmute and say thank you if you'd like to, to Beth. And um, we look forward to seeing you on thank Thursday. You. Drew. Thank you, Beth. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, so thank you Beth. Thank you. Oh, well Have done. a wonderful thank you. evening, everyone. Thank you, thank you. 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 Th